I don't even know what that is. But what everybody's gonna do is we're just gonna pretend like we don't see it. And on this channel, I just like to share the tips, tricks, and strategies that I use to try to keep myself organized and to keep this ship afloat. And so if you're into that kind of stuff, moms learning from moms, um, trying to figure out how to level up and get off the struggle boat, as I am trying to also, let's learn from each other. Let's be friends, let's subscribe, and definitely feel free to join my little community. So today is Tuesday and I created a video on Sunday talking about how I plan to tackle my home management stuff this week. If you missed out on that, I will leave a card here. Um, but yeah, today is my anti-procrastination day. So I figured I would take you guys along with me as I try to jump from working at my job to working in my house. So um, these are the goals that I have. Number one, I want to work on my morning routine. You guys may have saw where I initiated that with the dishes, but I still have a few more tasks that I want to work on, namely getting my hotspots together. So for me, hotspots include making my bed, going for those like clutter magnet surfaces that people like to drop their stuff on when they don't feel ready to put it away, and um, just doing like a general tidy, a general pickup, like things I normally pick up anyway. So I still need to finish doing that. And then I need to work on some laundry. I had some laundry from last night that I hoped to put away and I did it. I got it folded, but I still need to hang it up. And then I was hoping to get a load of boys clothes started today. And so that's what I'm gonna do from a home management or morning routine perspective. So that's my first pillar. The next pillar that I wanna work on is zone cleaning today. So on here, I'm just gonna pick something really easy. Um, yeah, cause I feel like I'm kind of crunched for time today. So I wanted to do a refresh in my guest bedroom. So I will take you guys along with me when I get ready to do that, probably at a different break. Next, for my um, weekly home blessing task, today I want to spend 10 minutes mopping high traffic areas. If you guys see this little stain here, it's a mystery stain, okay? I don't know how I got there. So let's just pretend that you don't see it. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna spend 10 minutes mopping high traffic areas and then get out of there, go on about my day. And then for the fourth pillar, which is my basic weekly plan, I wanna fill out some forms for my daughter. She has a doctor's appointment coming up. And then my husband is, his work benefits window has opened. So I just wanna make sure to remind him and I will continue to remind him until he gets that done that I just want to put that on everyone's radar. So I do have things that I need to get to for work today and I actually have my first meeting in another hour and I have tasks that I need to get done before then. So what we're going to do is finish that morning routine and depending on how I feel after that, I think I'm gonna go back to work and then I'll meet you guys later. Oh, one more thing that I forgot to mention is uh, I have to take my son to an appointment after work today. So I need to make sure that my dinner game plan is on point. In fact, where's my phone? I need to know what we're eating for dinner. I have a meal plan. Let me go get my phone. Give me just a sec. All right, I'm gonna pull up the Paprika app. 
This is the meal planning app that I like to use. I learned about it from my um, YouTube mom friend, Amy from Nurse Mom Fly Baby. And she has videos about it, but this thing is like a game changer. So, okay. So it looks like the meal that I had planned, we were just gonna do some pulled pork sandwiches. Um, I went to the store to pick those up. We get the one from Aldi and they didn't have it yesterday. So I'm gonna swap it for a different dinner idea. Um, cornbread and sausage is like a hit in my house. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter. Hello, so um, I just got done with my morning routine and I wanted to come jump back into work. My next meeting is in about 30 minutes. So I have a couple of assignments that I'm going to try to work on until then. And then, um, yep, yeah, I'll just check back in. It looks like I have two meetings actually. So I have one and then I have, I have a break, not a break, but I'm gonna work and then have a meeting and then have another work break and then have a meeting. And after that second meeting, I will probably touch base with you guys again. And I'm gonna use that time to jump into my next home management task. So I will work for a little while and I'll check back in with you guys later. My meeting ended a little early. And so I thought I was gonna like rush back into doing my next assignment. But I figured I would use this opportunity to make a quick breakfast so that I can focus. I haven't eaten today yet. And it's almost 11 o'clock. So I'm going to, I bought this little thing at um, Aldi. It's a little omelet maker. I know it's extra, but I feel like it helps me create, it's, I guess it's about the same amount of dishes, but this just feels easier to wash. So you just like, I don't know if you're supposed to crack your egg in it. I do. I crack two eggs in here, whisk it up, put some um, bacon bits in there, and then you pop it in the microwave on one side for a minute, and you flip it over and you put it on for another minute, and then you have like this little omelet. So it's really quick, easy. I just like not pulling out pots and pans whenever I can. And at first I was really skeptical, but this is like my third time doing it. The first time was a hot mess because um, I put it on the wrong side. Apparently like this side was the lower thing right here that's the top I didn't know that so it was like a big mess but the second time I did it I was like okay it's not bad I was like worried about it being a microwave egg because I was like oh I don't want to eat steamed eggs you know but um when I did it yesterday it turned out really nice and I liked not having like the oil and all that stuff so I'm gonna make one and while I'm waiting for it to cook I'm gonna try to and cool down I'm gonna try to squeeze in my next task of the day which is to do a 10 minute mop so I'm probably gonna keep my mop to like high traffic areas today that's what I do every week and I save like the more in-depth mopping for like zone cleaning so I'll probably just stick to the kitchen and if I have time and motivation I'll swing over to like our bathrooms and stuff Okay, so one thing that I do that some people might find to be a little bit weird is I do something called reverse mopping, especially on the days where I really don't feel like mopping. You know how when you're growing up, that's my egg. Okay, you know how when you were growing up, everyone told you that you had to sweep first and get everything beautiful first before you can mop and pick up the chairs and do all that stuff. Yeah, I don't do any of that for my weekly home blessing. I save that type of cleaning for zone cleaning when I have like more time and capacity to put toward it for just my weekly upkeep. Girl, if you don't get that mop and move them little dust particles out the way, I don't know what I'm gonna tell you, it's my egg. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my little stick spray mop and I'm going to be mopping and moving dust out of the way at the same time. So I usually will pick a corner that I will gather all the dust in, and then when I'm done, I will sweep up the dust. So instead of doing that in two separate steps, I get one big step, and when we have guests, no one knows that I 
I hope you have on pants. Okay. No one knows that I choose a different order of operation. So while my egg is cooling down, I'm gonna open it and let it cool down and let the cheese melt. And while it's doing that, I'm gonna quickly get my mop, done, mop job done and then I'm gonna go back upstairs. So just in case you were wondering, that's my egg. Definitely not like fried egg, but you just cannot beat that convenience. I'm sorry. This is my mop. Don't forget to set your timer for 10 minutes so that you don't get lost in the weeds. It is so easy to try to be like a perfectionist about this. We don't want to do that. So set a timer so you know when it's time to stop. seconds on the clock before my 10 minutes are over 25 seconds now but I wanted to show you this is what it typically looks like when I reverse mop like I clean everything and I scoop everything over to the side and I'm gonna use a broom for this because there's like big chunks but yeah that's it we gonna do that was only 10 minutes worth the work so you can only ask you know of yourself so much when you only have 10 minutes to work on something but did you guys see how much dirt and dust and grime I got off my floor like most of the marks are gone now so like that's what it's all about just make it better and then anything that you miss or that you like to see done better you always have zone cleaning. You can literally hop out of the zone that you're supposed to be in and go to the kitchen if that's what you want to spend all your time doing. Well, I don't. I don't care that much. Guys, okay, so it is 4.02. So in Eastern time where I work, it's 5 o'clock. And um, I'm going to leave here in about an hour. I have to take my son to his speech therapy appointment. And so I really want to try to make the most of the next hour because if I can like get in here, do what I need to do, and just make it really productive, when I come back, I get to just chill and relax. So I was hoping that I would have another break to either do my zone cleaning or to do my basic weekly plan so I could break it up little by little and not have to do too much, but that didn't happen because I had an unexpected um, meeting and unexpected pretty exciting news. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be kind of moving into some new responsibilities at my job, so it's really exciting. But, um, so my goal is I'm gonna see if I could cook, start my evening routine, and possibly, possibly get my zone cleaning done before I go. If not, it's okay. I can do it when I come back. So, wish me luck. I'm gonna go ahead and get started and We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna tell you guys about a habit technique that finally helps me feel more in control of like doing this laundry every day. Laundry is like one of the things that I hate doing the most, but the strategy that finally helps me like get it and make it a habit it was using habit stacking so habit stacking is when let's say that you have a habit that you already do like for me I will never go a day without not without feeding my kids does that make sense I will never have a day where I don't feed my kids like it will always happen so what I did is I said going forward this is the day I was just like fed up with struggling with keeping up the laundry I said, going forward, I will make sure that 
before I cook, the laundry has to be folded. And you know, I try to work in small batches, so it's typically like less than a five minute job. And I'm like, yeah, it's not gonna kill my eating routine. My kids are not gonna go to bed any later. All gonna, everybody's gonna be happy, we're all gonna get to eat. This five minutes is not going to drastically mess up the trajectory of my evening routine. And so when I did that and I made it a rule that I can't cook unless the laundry's been put away, that's when the habit finally started to click for me. I did it consistently for like, he wants to go get the girls. I went to, I did this habit for about a week and I hated it every single day. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so annoying. But I stuck with it and I just folded my laundry before I cooked. And then by the third week, I was like, you know what? I, I don't love it, but it didn't annoy me as much. And that's why I still feel today like I don't love folding laundry, but I don't feel like that resistance because like I got into the habit of doing it, you know, even when I don't want to. And so it is a muscle that can be worked. And I feel confident that if you have like a task like that, that you don't, the stain is still here, that you don't love, just find a way to stack it in front of something that is important to you. You know, what is that non-negotiable thing? And then do your habit that you're trying to gain before or after that non-negotiable thing in your life. So, anyway, thought I would have like a little short PSA. I'm gonna get the laundry put away and then try to make dinner. go to bed but I thought I would come in and do my final check-in of the night um, yeah so what happened was I wanted to do my daughter's forms but I like had a 30 minute monologue I was like let's have some heart-to-heart -heart shot and you know I start talking and things just get really crazy and so I didn't even do my forms and the monologue took 30 minutes to get out and so I'm like, that's not gonna be helpful to anyone. Y'all don't wanna see me talk. But basically the gist of what I was trying to say is I have this really cool opportunity at my job to kind of step into a new role and kind of help build it out. And it really is directly aligned to a lot of the things that makes me happy and that sparks joy. And the things, a lot of the things that has kept me on my YouTube channel for so long, which is like, trying to understand branding and marketing and you know trying to understand like a um, personas and you know just all of that and now I get to like they created a position 
and I can I kind of get to step into this role and kind of build it out. And so it's just a very exciting opportunity that I know is gonna come with a lot of growth. So what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, so I just want to encourage you to get very used to that feeling, the tension or the discomfort that comes from jumping into the unknown. I know that can be hard for us as people who are overcoming perfectionism. Um, and you know, it feels very comforting to us to know all the answers, know what's expected, to have that standard operating procedure, to have that rubric. But I'm learning that some of the more rewarding things in life may not um, present itself as such. And you just have to be willing to take a leap of faith and to fall and to figure it out as you are falling down and to learn how to spread your wings along the way. And that comes from trying something, being willing to do it wrong, being willing to look silly, but trying to get the feedback, whether you get the feedback from yourself by processing what went well and how can I recreate that? And what's not going so well? And how can I improve it or solve a problem? And that's really just what it's all about. So if you find that you have things that you want to see get done or things that you want to accomplish, I'm just going to challenge you to get off the sidelines and to just be willing to feel uncomfortable for that amount of time, you know, while you're trying to get things figured out. And so a lot of this reason that I'm able to like understand this and to know this and to be okay with this is because of the work that I've done on my YouTube channel. Like I feel like I've always wanted to start a channel but I was always like really scared about putting myself out there and um, like I've it's so uncomfortable for me to be online you guys it's so uncomfortable um, but like I know now because I've been doing it for a couple of years how to be vulnerable and how to be uncomfortable and just how to sit in it and how to not run away from those feelings and you know and I feel like that's the key to it if there's something that you want and it feels out of reach I feel like a big piece of it is are you willing to be uncomfortable for a short amount of time in order to gain the thing that you're trying to access and so life has presented another opportunity for me to do that and I'm so stinking excited about it because I feel like it very much aligns with things that I'm very much interested in and that I've already put a lot of work into and now I get to kind of watch what it looks like to unfold you know that knowledge into something tangible that can actually help people and it's like a different way to help people that I I've always been interested in doing but I always felt like you know I I'm not an expert enough I don't know what I'm doing but that's the only way to gain expertise is to get out there and to try it so I'm just super excited about this next chapter and like what that's gonna mean for me and the opportunity to get to grow in that way and the biggest thing that I would just want to share with myself if I can go back in time is be okay with being uncomfortable start small if you have to but be okay with being able to sit in that tension so I wasn't able to complete those forms for my daughter so uh, tomorrow if you guys remember I have Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday are my free days in terms of my basic weekly plan so I'm just gonna roll it over to tomorrow and I'm gonna be very 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 okay with that I'm gonna cuddle with these babies for a little while my son wants to talk to me and then I might even edit this video for a little while just have some quiet time I love I don't love editing videos but it is a nice thing to do um, you know just to kind of decompress for the day so I'll probably do that but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and yeah I had fun bringing the camera along with me today and I feel like we got a lot of stuff done was it perfect no but things hardly ever are and that's okay I feel like we did throw the arrow of productivity quite far today and I just feel like today is just ending off on a really good note and so yeah um if you made it this far to the video I really am loving the green hearts so if you made it to this far drop a green heart and let me know that you're here let me know that you're a real one 
and I will meet you guys in the comment section. Please like this video. That's an awesome way to support the channel and subscribe if you're new. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be if I leave tonight?